Welcome to Ice Cream for Everyone, where play meets strategy. I'm Willem van der Horst, a playful strategist, and in this new series of short videos about playful strategy, I'm going to share some insights about my studies into play and illustrate how play states of mind can benefit brands, businesses, teamwork, and a lot more. And so we're going to go through different books, articles, etc., wherever I draw my knowledge from. And I'm going to begin with French sociologist Roger Caillois, Les Jeux et les Hommes, it's called Man, Play, and Games, if you want to find the essay in English. And in this one, he starts by defining play as an activity featuring six main aspects. And in each video, we're going to break those down and give them some illustrations. So the first point that defines play as an activity for Mr. Roger, uh, not Mr. Rogers, Mr. Roger Caillois, is that it's freely engaged in. And it isn't forced, it isn't obligated, or else... If it does become forced or obligated for the player, it immediately loses all the value of play, which means its attractiveness, its entertainment value, and it overall its joyous nature. It's no longer play. So if ever I invite you to do anything and you say yes freely, say like, all right, would you like to like my video or subscribe to my channel? And you freely go, yes, you know what? I'm interested in your videos. I would like to do that. Then there is a good chance of there being some presence of a play state of mind or some presence of play. And if you think about play on a spectrum, like on a 10 point scale or on, on percentile, you can think about like how much or how little play is there. And on the other hand, the more forced an environment is, the less play is present as a state of mind. And I, be I believe this negatively impacts creativity too. And like you pull out and you suck out the joyous nature of things. And quite a few work environments tend to be forced kind of by nature. That happens, right? It's kind of normal, but I like to think that it doesn't have to be that way. And to illustrate my point, I just watched this nearly seven minute long new Apple ad called the, the, uh, the working from home thing it's called, and you can watch it here. I didn't like it. And it's a team of completely overworked and overwhelmed people working from home. And I read this post that was shared on Twitter from Ali Walker, another strategist, and I completely agree with her when she says the ad is exploitative at best, harmful at worst. And I linked to her post on Medium below in the comments, uh, in the notes section as well. And uh, the ad showcases like really, frankly, some of the worst behaviors you can see in modern, like modern working environment, I guess poor work-life balance and on top of that an even more challenging environment for a lot, a lot of people over the past few months working from home and i really don't feel that apple or, or any corporate employer for that matter is well placed to make this kind of movie i mean if it was comedians coming at it from a humoristic or satirical perspective it would be entirely different but this is apple talking as a corporation about all this very forceful obligated things super tight deadlines on top of more tight deadlines, a horrible distant boss, reduced budget, where creativity in this team, I'm sorry for the spoilers alert, spoilers alert, it's like the creativity is, and the new solutions are squeezed out of them out of desperation and survival to keep their jobs. And they're exhausted and they're dealing with their kids and it's just not cool. And it seems to be depicting a new kind of normal in this movie. Whereas I like to think that there can be the possibility, at least, if not the abundance or an abundance of creativity and joy and being able to bring play states of minds and new solutions to problems and challenges that you encounter in the workplace. And what we're talking about here is the first indicator of the definition of what we're looking at in terms of play is this ability to freely engage. And as a counterexample, uh, this four minute video of Matt Mullenweg the founder and CEO of Automatic, the creators and hosters of uh, WordPress, like where a third or more of all worldwide websites are hosted on. They have a distributed company model. He's also done much longer interviews since March that I really recommend checking out. But this one is just four minutes about how they think about the distributed company model. At the time of uh, the video, they had 800 people. Today, they have like 1,100 or 1,200 employees around the world working from wherever they're working from and they organize their whole company to facilitate uh, that kind of remote working. And it's really inspiring. So in addition to those kinds of two examples, one more positive, the other one more negative, if you want to know how to do that with your teams uh, through Playful Strategy or if you have questions for me, don't hesitate reaching out with a message. 
in the meantime, you can like and subscribe to this particular video or just follow me on Twitter for more insights about Playful Strategy. And uh, I'll be back next week and you can reach out or find me wherever I'm findable online. But everything is over at www.icecreamforeveryone.net. And thank you for watching. See you soon.